Hi guys, this is Ben Morton and welcome to another Friday Forts video. And again, this week I want to talk about something that's been cropping up a lot in some of my coaching sessions. I've had a few conversations lately where people have said to me, look Ben, my team are they're performing really well. I've got a great team to the point where now a lot of my time is spent thinking about different things, focusing on the future, and working on different projects. And I'm worried that my team are gonna to come to me for some support or development or guidance. And I'm not gonna have anything left to give. And my initial response that I didn't necessarily verbalize immediately is, that's great, that's amazing, that's job well done. If we've got a highly autonomous team that are performing really well and require little support from us, that's absolutely job done and what we should be working towards and striving for. But their concern was, what does it say about them if they can't provide any support or guidance? And my view on that is, whilst it's absolutely the job of a leader and our job to focus on developing those that we lead, but that doesn't mean we have to be the one doing all of the developing, right? We could introduce them to other mentors. We could suggest conferences or courses for them to attend. We could give them more stretching work-based assignments or even open up doors within the organization and raise their exposure amongst our peer group and our bosses. So it is absolutely our responsibility to develop those who've got the privilege and responsibility to lead but it doesn't have to be us doing all of the developing. Hope it's been useful. Drop me a line and let me know if this resonates with you. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Other than that, have a great rest of the day. Enjoy your weekend. I'll see you again next week. Lead on folks.